Most of you probably already realise that Sky UI has been released in alpha form for Skyrim Special Edition, but I thought I'd make a quick video explaining what on earth the alpha version means. Now, some of you have probably been using a version of Sky UI that you converted yourself, and I even saw one person saying, well, do, do I even need to use this new one? And the answer is yes, there have been some bug fixes, and there will almost certainly be some more. I know for a fact there is at least one confirmed minor bug, and you're going to want the fixes. Uh, just so you know, the minor bug that I'm talking about is, is a very small visual glitch in the menu, and it's not something that would stop me from using this mod. However, it is an alpha release. It's actually more like a beta release. It's got full functionality if you check out what's there. You've got all the usual functionality. The reason he's calling it an alpha release is SKSE 64 is still in alpha, so he's just matching them for now. You should only use this if you are comfortable testing a mod that is, uh, you know, at the moment, relatively untested. So, keep that in mind. There is also something else you need to keep in mind about this. It is not going to work with Skyrim Special Edition 2.0.4, the new beta patch that introduces the Creation Club. There are new user inter interface files for survival, and they are not currently compatible with Sky UI. Once that goes into full release, the mod author will probably take a look at it and make it compatible, but of course that could take some time. So if you are going to use Sky UI, it has to be for 2.02, and you have to understand that when 2.04 comes out, it will stop working unless you prevent the update, or at least, you know, until uh, the Sky UI does get updated for the new UI. Overall, though, this is great news. We've got our MCM back, mod configuration menu. I'm still not totally sure why when I press escape, it goes to quests and not system. I've probably got my keybind set up wrong. It's kind of annoying, but we've got the mod configuration. We've got all of the old functionality, the favorites, the filtering, the searching. It's all there. It all looks like it works apart from, as I said, this very small visual glitch. If you're curious as to what it is it's in the load and save menu it sometimes there you go you see it's refreshing it's stopped now it's it's a minor glitch it's not really important it doesn't actually stop you from doing anything but it can be a little bit distracting i i thought i had a key stuck first time uh, feel free to test it and if you do find bugs please report them but don't report bugs for 2.0.4 at this stage there's no point I am currently working on a video describing the full functionality of Sky UI to introduce it to new players and, of course, remind old players of some of the great features it had. However, I will probably hold off releasing that until I feel the mod is out of alpha phase, purely because I don't want complete newcomers to come along and see it as a recommendation to use this mod at this stage. I would suggest if you are a veteran of Skyrim modding and you used Sky UI in the previous version of this game, you should probably try this out. It is obviously a massive improvement over the normal user interface, but I don't want to go the full, you know, the full way and say, oh yeah, absolutely everybody should use this. There are still some bugs, and of course there are going to be some, some issues with the next patch. However, all warnings aside, this is excellent news. This is what I personally have been waiting for. SKSC 64 and Sky UI, now that they're here and I'm going to be getting my own mods converted across, it's just looking more and more likely that Skyrim Special Edition is going to become a thing for me. It's going to be something that I'm going to start adding mods to. I'm going to start getting ready to play again. And who knows, in a few months, I might start a whole new Let's Play. We'll, we'll just have to see.